Hi there, my name is Bryson Jack. I wanted to uh, share a tip on how to automate the process of adding holding edges to your model so that when you're using subdivisional surfaces that uh, you get the kind of hard edges or the edge surfaces that you would like. Um, I'm not going to talk about creasing. Creasing works, but it um, requires a lot of extra geometry that you don't really need and also it's really blender specific. Um, I can't take a model that has creases um, and take it into Maya or ZBrush and have it work for me. So I use holding edges because that's something that's more universal. Um, so in case you don't know what I'm talking about, you take this cube right here. And if you go into your modifiers panel, you can add a modifier called subdivision surface. And then you can increase your your uh, render your excuse me your subdivision of surface levels here in the viewport. You can see that it rounds it off. Well, if you wanted to retain that cube shape, then you know you would need to add some holding edges to make that happen. Ordinarily, um, you can just do that manually by just uh, selecting an edge, and then you would just uh, like do this, and you'd have to do that for you know the entire model. And uh, let's go here and you'd have to do that for every edge. And then what happens is when you add your subdivisional surface, you know, you can crank it up pretty high and you can see that you retain your, your edges. All right. So anyway, what I wanted to show was just how to automate this process and um, also just just for everybody's information in case you you don't know this um, there's a way to automate adding a subdivisional surface modifier if you just hit control and then whatever the number is on the top row of your keyboard that you want for your viewport um, subdivision level then it'll do that so if I hit control 4 then I will get 4 it'll add a modifier and it'll uh, turn 4 on the view it'll always be rendered level 2 for everything so and then control zero will take you back to uh, it'll turn off this basically all right anyway let me get to the point here so we have our cube and what you can do is you go into uh, edit mode and you hit control B and that is bevel that's the bevel operator and you can see down at the bottom where the viewport header is that there's some information um, all we want to do at this point is just enter or confirm the the uh, bevel modifier so I can hit enter I'm just gonna hit the left mouse button all right then you can do this one of two ways you can either open up your tool shelf and you can see the the uh, properties down here or what you can do is immediately after confirming it you can hit F6 and that will bring up your the same properties so what you want to do is for the segments is you want to change it to two and then for the profile you want to change that to one and then for your amount you can go ahead and you can oops, you can change that to uh, where you would like your holding edges to be All right. and so what that has just done is that has basically let me turn off my length here because I know that's kind of annoying for people to see so what that's done is that's basically just created holding edges around the entire model that you could have done manually but not as, as nicely and not as quickly. And so then if I, uh, you know, if I hit and say control six, how about control five? Doesn't do six. So I just learned something. Anyway, so uh, it only goes to five. Uh, anyway, so I hit control five there and I got my view levels to five even though Blender does six that's weird but that's a quick way to um, to uh, add holding edges if you do this on a more complex model than a cube then you're gonna end up with uh, some probably some ju junky geometry you're gonna end up with uh, some n-gons you're gonna end up with triangles and so you'll have to go through and clean those up if that's if that's the case, I highly recommend an add-on called Mesh Lint. Because um, what you can do is, if you're looking for ngons or tries or whatever, you can hit that, and it will tell you right up here where it's at, and it'll highlight it'll highlight them as well, and so you can chase those down and fix them. 
Anyway, I don't want to make this too long, but that's just something that I um, found out about, and so I wanted to share it with everybody else. So thanks for watching, and have a great day.